A North Branch couple is milling a flower that takes you back in time. And not only do they use an ancient variety of wheat, but the technology that they use is from the Great Depression era. And as a result, it's a flower that is in demand all over the country. Yeah, Shane Wells has more from Sunrise Flower Mill. We've spent the entire morning at Sunrise Flower Mill, and we haven't showed you bread yet. So we thought this is the time you got to see the baked goods and the result of all this. And of course, we're in the break room, which is also kind of their test kitchen. And we're with Daryl Glanville, and you and your wife started Sunrise Flower. We've been talking about you, your search for the perfect bread. So it makes sense that we're here with you talking about sourdough particularly. Why this? Yes. Well, and sourdough is an important part of what we do. And, and uh, because of the uh, popularity of it, we've sent out literally thousands of the little packets uh, with our orders. And uh, there's always a lot of confusion about sourdough, so I wanted to just try and clarify with people that all sourdough, it, it's really a misnomer. <clears throat> the, the name is really kind of a misnomer because all sourdoughs are not sour. Some of them are not nearly as sour as others, so it becomes down to personal taste. And our, our sourdough starter, the lore, is, if you will, the, the stories behind it, it came from Italy 100 years ago. And uh, we went with it about five years ago. A friend of ours brought it to us, and it's not very sour but it's our taste preference. So okay. if you want a sourdough, sour, a sour sourdough, you need to look online and find out how to treat your sourdough to make it more sour. But what about the Dutch oven? I didn't realize that that was a part of this as well. Yeah, the Dutch oven was really a game changer for me for baking. And to, to get an artisan kind of loaf of bread with the crust and things like that, you need steam. And the only way to get real good steam is to do it in a Dutch oven. We score the guy a little bit. Put them in the Dutch oven. Remember the hot pads, that's the important part. Where's the other one here? Into the oven. I usually tell Siri to remind me in 12 minutes. <laughs> okay, that's one of my tricks. And in 12 minutes, we take the cover off because the steam part is finished then okay. and, that, and, that, and that'll enable it to brown then because it won't brown with And the, then with how the, much longer the, do you leave it in? And then I do another 12. Another 12. So I, so I do, and that's kind of for, for our one pound loaf, that's kind of a, a go-to. But you should check at the end of it with a thermometer if you can and uh, you should have be, be between 195 and 205 Fahrenheit then your bread is finished. That's the perfect so, loaf of sourdough, in yeah, your opinion. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so those are, those are the key temperatures. And he would know, by the way, because it was you baking bread in your retirement that people wanted the bread. Then you thought, we'll just do the flour, and then here and, we are. And you got to, and if you, <laughs> for, for all, all our bread makers, you got to be willing to fail, folks, because we've all failed and made the loaves of bread that maybe even the squirrels wouldn't eat, as Marty says. <laughs> That is really good advice for life in general. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to fail once in a while, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but then maybe you'll end up having this really successful mill. Sunrise Flower Mill, you can get their products online, co-ops. Uh, some restaurants in the Twin Cities have it as well, and also the Mill City Farmer's Market. Back to you. Awesome. It's also yeah. interesting that I have it in my cupboard right now. You do? do you really? I do. Did wow. you know it was local? I had no idea. Cool. Like, I learned something new. I actually found it in... Lunds and Byerleys, I believe. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Even better yeah. that it's local. Yeah. Very cool. Good yeah. to know. Make some pie with that.